If you notice a white outline around your subject after creating a mask in Photoshop, here's a genius feature to fix it. Go to Filter, Other, and choose Minimum. From this window, set the preserve to Roundness, and drag the slider to the right until the white outline disappears. Problem solved! I'm Jesus Ramirez from the Photoshop Training Channel. In this video, I'll reveal 7 genius Photoshop features you probably didn't know existed. Immediately after using most tools, filters, or adjustments, press Ctrl Shift F to bring up the fade window. From here, you can reduce the opacity and in some cases apply blending modes to your previous adjustments. This is especially useful in retouching, helping you keep your adjustments subtle. Remember though, Fade only works immediately after you apply your adjustments. If you take any other action, including saving your documents, you'll lose access to it. It's easy to get heavy-handed and push pixels too far when using the liquify filter, resulting in an unrealistic look. While you could try to fade the liquify, this often causes a ghosting effect between the original and edited areas. Not a good look. Instead, after applying liquify, Go into the Brush and Reconstruct options and click Reconstruct, and reduce the intensity until it looks natural. This gives you precise control over Liquify without compromising realism. Ever find yourself constantly zooming in and out to see how your detail adjustments affect your whole image? If so, this genius feature is for you. Go to Window, Arrange, New Window 4, and you'll see the name of your open document. Click on it and it will open on a new window. This is not a duplicate, but the exact same document. Then, go back to Window, Arrange, and choose 2 Up Vertical to place the two windows side by side. Now you can zoom in one window to focus on details, while keeping the entire image visible in the other. Any adjustments you make appear instantly in both views, making this ideal for precise work with a full perspective. By the way, hit the like button now and subscribe if you've learned something new. I was never great at math, but with Photoshop I don't have to be. It does the math for me in all input boxes. Is your text too large? Just multiply it by 0.75 and Photoshop does the math automatically making it 25% smaller. Need to adjust the layer style? You can divide the stroke by 2 to make it half as wide. This genius Photoshop feature handles all calculations so you can focus on creativity, not on math. If you want to crop an image to match the exact size and resolution of another, then go into the Crop tool and from the Options bar, choose Front Image from the dropdown. Then go into the second document and you'll see the Crop tool active with the dimensions and resolutions of the first image. No matter how large or small you crop, the photo will always resize to match the front image. Groups in Photoshop are primarily used for organization, which is why their default blending mode is pass-through. This lets adjustment layers inside the group affect all the layers below. But by changing the group's blending mode from pass-through to normal, you can transform groups into a powerful compositing tool. With this setting, Photoshop treats the group as a single layer, allowing adjustment layers to only affect the contents inside of the group without impacting anything outside of it. This setup gives you more flexibility, with no need for layer masks or clipping masks. To learn more about blending modes, check out my 7-minute crash course, the link is below. Again, my name is Jesus Ramirez, thank you for watching.